monitor and time management with you. Uh, I will present uh, five cases of injectable pain to illustrate the therapeutic uh, effect of laser acupuncture in uh, pain management. Will I show oh, oh, here. Uh, there are five uh, preeminent crises in uh, pain management today. Firstly, the lack of uh, evidence for uh, the outcomes of most of the things providers do for patients. Secondly, the inadequate education for primary care providers about pain and how to treat it. Thirdly, the large unknown value of opioid treatment for patients with chronic non malignant pain. Fourthly, funding for the providers of pain management. And lastly, access to uh, multidisciplinary care. All of these issues may uh, loom larger in the United States than elsewhere, but uh, they are not unique to this country. Uh, here shows uh, the pain killing effect. Low level laser, low level laser uh, phototherapy provide uh, proved to be an effective uh, analgesic method, while non coherent uh, light did not uh, show a similar effect. The use of uh, naloxone blood, uh, the, the analgesic effect of uh, uh, low laser phototherapy. Analgesia induced by laser phototherapy. Uh, is mediated by uh, peripheral uh, opioid receptors. Uh, acupuncture has both local and distant energetic effects that um, may be mediated by different mechanisms. Central opioid receptors of various types are, are important in mediating the energetic effect uh, induced by acupuncture related te technique of different frequencies. Low frequency uh, as uh, uh, two hertz stimulation accelerates the release of encephalin and beta endorphin, high frequency uh, as uh, 100 hertz release uh, dynorphin, suggesting a frequency dependent release of uh, neuropeptides in the uh, central nervous system by uh, electro acupuncture. According to the Chinese, according to the uh, theory of traditional Chinese medicine, pain results from a prosthesis due to chief stagnation. By stimulating acupuncture along the meridians, according to the distribution of pain, the flow of qi and blood in the body is uh, realigned to restore internal homeostasis and resolve the symptoms and disease. Uh, this device, uh, I uh, handed later try and. Uh, um, Made in Germany, uh, I used uh, uh, in clinical practice uh, for treating a varied disease, including uh, pain. And, uh, and uh, I uh, presented yesterday, obviously. Uh, here, show, <coughs> uh, here shows the parameters of handy laser treatment uh, used uh, to used to uh, perform uh, laser acupuncture in this study. And. Uh, you want to take a picture? Okay. okay. Uh, uh, the similar uh, devices, uh, Fisher Laser Olympic, also uh, uh, can provide the same effect. Uh, this, the laser was applied to uh, acupuncture point for five seconds to deliver uh, 0.375 joule of energy and uh, uh, as point. Uh, for 40 seconds uh, to deliver three jaw. Each patient was uh, treated once daily in acute phase and uh, thereafter three times per week in chronic phase. Uh, here, uh, this table shows uh, the uh, bar free, uh, the nodule frequency uh, used for uh, low level laser therapy and uh, the bar frequency used uh, for uh, <coughs> uh, Acupuncture, laser acupuncture, and uh, here's the uh, recommendation uh, recommended doses by World Association uh, of Laser Therapy. Daily treatment for two weeks or treatment every other day for three to four weeks is recommended. 
irradiation should cover most of the pathological tissue in the tendon uh, or synovium. Start with the energy dose in table and then reduce by 30% uh, when uh, inflammation uh, is under control. Therapeutic dose windows uh, typically range from uh, plus or minus 50% of given values. And uh, uh, that's outside uh, these windows are inappropriate and should not be uh, considered as a low level laser therapy. Recommended doses are uh, for white ca Caucasian skin types based on results from uh, clinical trials or uh, extrapolation of study results with similar pathology and uh, ultrasonographic tissues measurements. The list may be subject to change at any time when more research trials are being published. World Association of Laser Therapy is now responsible for uh, the application of laser therapy in patients, which should be performed at the sole discretion and uh, responsibility of the therapist. Uh, here goes the case number one. A 59-year-old man uh, had been uh, unable to chew a hard food for many years. He complained of chop pain arrest uh, with a visual analog scale score uh, 9 and a restriction of mandibular uh, uh, movement over the previous two months. The initial conventional medical treatment offered by a dentist, otolaryngologist, and uh, oral surgeon uh, were ineffective. Uh, advice and counseling regarding uh, his uh, lack of, uh, uh, advice and counseling regarding his diet, uh, core, or heart packs, administration of uh, topical use, etc. And uh, auto uh, uh, occlusion applicants. The patient uh, was referred to our clinic and uh, treated three times per week with uh, uh, laser acupuncture. The laser was used to deliver uh, zero point uh, 375 joule of energy uh, sequentially to each of the following points once daily and then after uh, they are after uh, three times per week after an initial eight treatments uh, we, the, the following eight points uh, like uh, xia guan, xia gu, uh, were applied <coughs> uh, in addition the laser was applied to uh, the last point um, and the near the temporal mandibular joints and uh, or uh, masseter muscles, uh, delivering three joules of energy to each the, the point. <coughs> As the point. Uh, here's the panel uh, x ray film uh, sh uh, showed a uh, uh, crown uh, <coughs> uh, and uh, uh, missing tooth. Uh, this table shows uh, the, his uh, initial jaw pain. Oh, yes, yes, oh. uh, he wrote his initial jaw pain via an analog scale score 9. Oh. And, and maximum mouth opening oh, is 50 millimeter. After uh, 98 oh, therapeutic sessions, about 29 weeks, uh, he reported a free of uh, a, a, a complete remission. Oh and uh, free of uh, temporal mandibular disorder at his uh, one year follow up. This, uh, this is our work uh, just published uh, at PROS1. A retrospective observational study was uh, conducted in 29 treatment resistant uh, temporal mandibular disorder patients, including uh, 25 women and uh, uh, four men. Subjects uh, were treated three times per week for four weeks with uh, uh, handy laser trial, uh, which delivered uh, 0 0.375 joule of energy for the five seconds to Xia Guan Jia Che Jia Ju He Gu, and the three jars for 40 seconds to each us point. Uh, total energy uh, is 7.5 to 26.25 joule per square centimeter. Uh, visual analog scale. Uh, analysis uh, showed uh, that the patients were free of pain arrest uh, as the end point of observation uh, after about uh, six, six uh, therapeutic sessions of laser therapy for acute uh, temperamental disorder. And uh, after uh, about uh, 16 
uh, therapeutic sessions for chronic uh, temperamental behavioral disorder uh, patients. The visual analog scale score on per patient of a uh, temperamental behavioral joint reduced to uh, 0 0.3 for patients with acute uh, temperamental behavioral disorder and uh, to uh, 0 0.47 for those with chronic temperamental behavioral disorders. The maximum mouth opening significantly increased in patients with uh, acute uh, temperamental behavioral disorder uh, as uh, 7, uh, 7.8 uh, millimeter and in patients with chronic temperamental behavioral uh, uh, disorder patient uh, is, was uh, uh, about uh, 15 uh, millimeter. Uh, our work uh, uh, rapid, uh, after, uh, soon after uh, a publication, uh, the, uh, health, the, health, uh, the Healthcare Medicine Institute uh, promptly uh, announced uh, as, uh, our work as uh, uh, expansion continuing education. Uh, second case. Uh, a 55-year-old woman, woman uh, complained of pain in uh, the left buttock radiating to her left foot. The patient visited the emergency department and the uh, orthopedic clinic for initial treatment, uh, which was uh, ineffective. Sciatica and the lumbo, uh, lumbo sacro reticular syndrome was diagnosed. The patient uh, was uh, confined to uh, a wheelchair uh, she reported uh, a visual analog scale score <coughs> uh, 9.6 and visited us for further treatment four days later. The handy laser train uh, was uh, used to apply 0 0.375 to, uh, to the firing equipoints once daily and uh, thereafter uh, three times per week after an initial eight treatments. Uh, here <coughs> Uh, his uh, uh, magnetic, her uh, magnetic res resonance image showed a body disc, uh, body disc uh, 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 L5 uh, S1 uh, with a relative narrowing uh, of the neural uh, foramen uh, on the left side. Uh, she reported uh, initial pain. Uh, Visual analog scale score uh, 9.6, uh, leg resistance uh, at uh, 30 degree. After eight sessions, uh, she reported pain. And, uh, visual analog scale score 3.6 and uh, straight leg resistance positive at uh, 60 degree. And she reported uh, complete remission uh, after 56 uh, uh, therapeutic session and free of static at her uh, one year follow up. Uh, this case report I <coughs> I presented uh, at fourteenth uh, uh, World Congress on Pain uh, held in uh, 2012. Uh, the third case, a, a 50 year old woman uh, complained of pain in her left knee. The swelling redness and the heat in her left knee with limited range of motion were noted. She had experienced uh, since undergoing total knee replacement uh, for uh, osteoarthritis uh, three months previous. The, the patient received a rehabilitation, but this proved to be ineffective. Uh, on her uh, first visit to our clinic, she was only able to uh, flex her left knee to 90 degree maximally. Uh, she reported a visual analog scale score nine. The handy test strain was uh, used to apply uh, 0 0.37 Five of joy to the following uh, acute puncture points once daily and thereafter uh, three times uh, per week after an initial 10 treatments. Uh, in addition, uh, three jaw uh, of <coughs> energy was applied to uh, the S point parallel to the operation scar. Inflammation of the patient's uh, left knee had subsided significantly after 10 treatments. Uh, her left knee uh, could flex to uh, 120 degree after 17 treatments and uh, no further rehabilitation was needed. 
she experienced complete remission after uh, 22 uh, therapeutic sessions. Uh, the, <coughs> the fourth uh, case, uh, an 82-year-old uh, woman had suffered uh, back pain for one week. She had a history of various diseases, in, including uh, hepatitis C. Uh, uh, the initial uh, conventional uh, medical treatment uh, offered by uh, local medical doctors were invective and she was uh, therefore admitted to uh, our hospital uh, via uh, emergency department. A recent uh, T11 compression fracture was diagnosed, however, uh, she did not receive birth, uh, vertebral plastic because of her severe back pain. Given her intractable back pain, uh, uh, the major analog scale score 9, and uh, uh, the fact that she was uh, confined to the bed, the patient underwent a consultation and uh, be began laser acupuncture treatment. The handy laser trial was uh, used to apply uh, 0375 jaw to uh, the following eight power jaw points, one steady. Her uh, X ray film uh, of uh, Sorapo lumbar, lumbar spine uh, showed uh, scoliosis of uh, sorapo lumbar spine and, uh, uh, and degenerative, degenerative change of uh, lumbar spine uh, with uh, interspace narrowing and the spur formation, uh, mild to severe uh, by concave and or, and or uh, wedge deformity uh, compared uh, <coughs> uh, that is uh, compression fracture of uh, uh, T10 and uh, T11 spine. Her, MR, her magnetic uh, resonance image of a uh, uh, lumbar spine uh, revealed a much recent compression fracture uh, of uh, T11 uh, uh, <coughs> with uh, enhancement or the severe compression fracture of T10. Uh, uh, much prominent uh, uh, disc margin with uh, 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 sec, uh, uh, sec, uh, and bilateral uh, in the vertebral uh, foramen uh, narrow in here. Uh, in addition, uh, the laser was used to uh, deliver a uh, three uh, jar uh, to uh, T10 and uh, T10 to T12 uh, uh, points. The patient could uh, ambulate with uh, assistance after four treatments and uh, uh, tolerate uh, percutaneous vertebral plasty of uh, T11. She was uh, discharged uh, the following day, having shown uh, improvement after five treatments. Uh, the last case is uh, a 47-year-old uh, man had suffered a lecture pain uh, caused by a traffic accident five days previously. He was previous, he was experiencing, he was ex experiencing limitation of activity. Uh, he reported uh, visual analog scale score 9 and the fracture of uh, the uh, left, fourth, and fifth ribs uh, was diagnosed. The initial conventional medical treatments offered by local medical doctors were ineffective. The, laser, the handy laser trial was uh, uh, used to apply uh, 0.375 uh, to the following uh, acupuncture points. In addition, uh, the laser was used to deliver three jobs to the fracture site. <coughs> and uh, uh, he reported uh, initial pain, uh, uh, visual analog scale score 9, uh, and the bottle index uh, uh, was assessed as uh, 80. After one single therapeutic session, he reported pain visual analog scale score nine, uh, 2. And uh, uh, the power index uh, review of uh, 100. Uh, here's the frequencies applied to the relevant acupuncture points. And this table shows the summary of a laser acupuncture therapy uh, for uh, these five, uh, intractable, five patients with intractable pain. And this acupuncture therapy was associated with uh, pain control in all five cases. 
uh, with patients experiencing uh, pain relief of more than 50% after a single uh, treatment. In contrast, uh, conventional medical treatment had failed to uh, relieve the patient's pain and uh, related uh, disabilities. Uh, here, uh, this table shows uh, the advantage of laser acupuncture I presented yesterday, so I, I passed. And here's the conclusion, laser, laser acupuncture integrates the positive effects of acupuncture and uh, low-level laser, low level lasers, and is thereafter, is, oh, sorry, is there, therefore effective in activating blood and uh, moving qi, anti-inflammation, and uh, uh, anesthesia. No side effects uh, and or complications resulting from laser acupuncture were observed in our subjects. In the hands of an uh, experienced physician, laser acupuncture can be useful in controlling pain. A biphasic uh, curve can be used to illustrate the expected dose response to uh, light at a uh, subcellular, cellular tissue or clinical level. Simply put, it suggests that if uh, a sufficient, uh, okay, sorry, let's get back this. Oh, yes. Oh. It suggests that if uh, insufficient energy is supplied, uh, there will be uh, no, <coughs> Uh, no response because the minimum threshold uh, has not uh, been reached, has not been met. If more energy is applied, then the threshold uh, is uh, across, is crossed, and the biostimulation is achieved. But when too much uh, energy uh, is applied, then the stimulation disappears and uh, uh, is replaced with the bio uh, inhibition instead. Uh, Here's our work, uh, uh, the, the speaker uh, published uh, in, in this book. Uh, and that is a free download, that can be free download uh, uh, via the internet. Uh, in a primary selection of uh, points uh, or, and frequencies, uh, insufficient energy and therapeutic sessions will lead to uh, uh, failure of uh, laser acupuncture. Uh, further studies are need to uh, better define uh, uh, <coughs> the treat uh, optimal or treatment parameters, including wavelength, dose, uh, intensity, and to up, uh, maximize the uh, physiological benefit and the cost be effectiveness of treatment. Thank you for your attention, and have a nice day. And welcome, welcome to Taiwan. Yes. Okay. Like one, please.